A is directly proportional to B. This is how you represent it. A to B. Now, if I say A is inversely proportional to B, or A varies inversely as B, this is how you re represent that. A inversely as B. So this is direct, and this is inverse. Now, when you have uh, these variation questions, we don't solve with proportionality sign. We solve with equality sign. Now, to change proportionality sign to equality sign, we simply introduce constant. In that case, we change this proportionality sign to equals k. So anywhere you see proportionality sign, we put equals k constant. And after getting equals k, the first values in variation actually allows us to find constant. Now, for A, this direct variation, it becomes A is equals KB. We've changed the variation or proportionality sign to equality sign. This, uh, for inverse, is simply A is equals K over B. K times 1 over B. So, that has that. Now, let's look at the questions. I prefer we start with this second one. It says M varies directly as n so like i told you this is how you represent that m varies directly as n and changing it to equality sign becomes m is equals k n so proportionality sign is same as k n now they say m is equals to when n is equals one so this first statement is to enable us to look for k we have the value of m and n. So, m is 2, is equals k, n is 1, times 1. So, this will give you 2 is equals, k times 1 is the same thing as k. So, k is equals 2. We've gotten that value. Now that we have the value of k, the constant, look at what the question is now saying. It says, find m when n is equals 4. So the relationship between m and n is simply m is equals k n. This is the relationship. Now we say we should find m when k uh, n is four, and we know k k is constant, which is two times the new value of n, which is four. Four. So m is equals eight. That is your final answer. S varies inversely as p square. This implies that. S is proportional to 1 over P square, like I established. This also implies that S is equals K over P square. So it says S is equals 2 when P is equals 4. So S is equals 2, P is equals 4. Now, this first statement is to enable us to look for K. So uh, S2 is equals k over 4 square when we substitute here s equals 2 p is equals 4 2 is equals k over 4 times 4 is 16 so k is equals 32 so that is the value of constant now what are they saying they say find the formula connecting them the formula connecting them is simply here S is equals k over p square. This is the formula connecting them. And we found the value of k. So S will simply be equals k, which is 32 over p square. So that is your answer. Thank you for watching my video. I am Flash Isaac. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, Flash Learners, to get my updates on new videos. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Visit flashlearners.com slash videos or search Flash Learners on YouTube to see my amazing videos for all your topics. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.